Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Z transform of multiplication of two sequences. So, multiplication of two sequences. That is, if we have that is if we have signals x1 of n and x2 of n and x1 of n has the z transform x1 of z and x2 of n has z transform x2 of z then the sequence x of n which is the product that is x1 of n multiplied by x2 of n will have a z transform x of z which is basically equal to 1 by 2 pi j integral that is a closed contour integral x1 of v multiplied by x2 of z by v v power minus 1 dv so that is the z transform of a multiplication of two sequences now here the c is basically a closed contour closed contour that encloses the origin and lies within the roc and lies within the ROC common to both x1 of v and x2 of 1 by v common to both x1 of v and x2 of 1 by v so that is the ROC for the product or for the z transform of the product now let us look at the proof for the z transform by definition x of z is a z transform of x of n so summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n and by using the definition of x of n we get summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x1 of n x2 of n z power minus n now recall that the inverse transform of x1 of z is x1 of n so we can relate them as follows x1 of n is the inverse transform by using the Cauchy's integral based formula that is the inverse z transform definition 1 by 2 pi j integral x1 of v v power n minus 1 dv so this is the inverse z transform of x1 of v which is going to be x1 of n now we will substitute this definition in the summation therefore x of z will be equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity 1 by 2 pi j closed integral over contour c x1 of v v power n minus 1 dv and then we have x2 of n z power minus n now we can re rewrite this summation and integral as integral and summation so we have 1 by 2 pi j closed contour integration over c x1 of v and then we have summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x2 of n and then we have z power minus n and v power n so that can be combined as z by v power minus n so v power minus 1 power, power minus n becomes v power n so z by v power minus n is sufficient now we have v power minus 1 and dv and now if we, now if we look at this summation that is summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x2 of n and then z by v power minus n it basically is the z transform of x2 of n and what the variable and the variable is z by v instead of z so we have x of z equal to 1 by 2 pi z close contour integral over c x1 of v and the summation becomes x2 of z by v and then we have v power minus 1 dv so that is the definition of the z transform of the multiplication of two sequences so that is the proof now let us look at the roc of this z transform the roc of x of z so recall that for x1 of v that is for the z transform of the first sequence the roc is given by r1 l less than absolute value of v less than r2 u that is the radius of the inner circle and the radius of the outer circle so that is the ring like region for the variable v there is roc for the first z transform now for the second one it is x2 of z it is given by r2 l less than mod z less than r2 u now 
the second variable is actually z by v or z is replaced by z by v so in that case now for x2 of z by v the roc is given by r2l less than modulus of z by v modulus of z by v less than r2u so that is the roc for the ratio z by v now for the combined x of z that is x of z which is basically the integral of this convolution type integral of x1 of v and x2 of z by v the roc is the product of these two inequalities that is r1l and r2l is less than mod z and mod v and uh, 1 by mod v cancel each other R, and we have less than we have r1u and r2u so that is the roc for the resulting z transform so to summarize we have looked at the z transform of multiplication of two sequences that is given two sequences x1 of n and x2 of n with corresponding z transforms x1 of z and x2 of z the z transform of this x of n which is the product of x1 of n and x2 of n is x of z which is actually equal to 1 by 2 pi j close contour integral over c x1 of v x2 of z by v v inverse dv this is like convolution in z domain here the close in the integration is over a close contour which basically includes the origin and also lies within the roc common to both x1 of v and x2 of 1 by v the proof for the z transform is based uh, based on the definition of x1 of n as the inverse z transform of x1 of v and then substituting that definition in this uh, x of z uh, that is the z transform of the product we get the final result that is x of z is equal to 1 by 2 pi j closed contour integration over c x1 of v x2 of z by v v inverse dv and the roc can be basically extracted by multiplying the uh, inequalities corresponding to the in two individual rocs that is r1 of l uh, less than mod v less than r2u and r2l less than or modulus of the ratio z by v less than r2u now by multiplying these two we get the combined roc thanks for watching